whenever the path seems too great to turn this hobby into a career, I try side hustles. They often cost me my health, my identity and my happiness, only to rediscover my true passion, my reason for being here, who I am, art. Amidst the miles and ideas churning without anywhere for them to go, being a dog walker isn't all bad. In fact, I love working with dogs. It just isn't my vocation like art is. Or use it as a top up while pouring my focus back into the canvas, back into art. The obsession with painting has meant that there's nowhere for me to move. There's paintings everywhere. The only rooms that have escaped is the bathroom and kitchen, more out of necessity and fear of the paintings getting damaged than anything else. Although logistically, storage is going to run out. I found myself working more with creating images that I want to create as a metaphor or I think will look good or I think will have the right feeling rather than actually painting with raw emotion which is kind of what I get back to you because they're great memories for looking back on and it's just always that fear that someone that the audience isn't going to connect but then I've had both my traditional eagles and various portraits sell but also I've had my crazy maze head sell as well so there's always something for someone and you really shouldn't play to the gallery you really shouldn't play to the audience because I don't know it just loses it something there and David Bowie puts this beautifully so I want to create art that has feeling again although this dog painting which is meant to signify dogs having fun and taking a selfie of themselves and all being with their friends and happy I can put emotion into the brush strokes it doesn't have to necessarily be a conceptual idea that is unique and original and has never been done before it can be done in the style and the way you approach it because we're all unique we're all our own humans and so it's going to have your fingerprint on it it's going to have your artistic voice in that sense so i yearn for art to be my full-time focus and to be back on that art journey again but without it having the potential to earn on a regular basis unless i put a lot of work in but even then you don't know what the outcome will be until that happens i'm going to explore this dog walking thing because i found myself in that realm and i found there are more dogs that need walking so i'm gonna keep trying to paint i'm gonna try and find a balance for YouTube and how it fits in to my creative practice and the way I work.